Hello, I'm Bruce Cheney, and today in Homemade Science, I thought I'd reveal the inner workings of my mystery box. Now, I've had this box in my room for several years, but I've always kept its operation hidden and challenged my students to see if they could figure it out for themselves. Take it one step further and actually build one that does the same thing. I pull down on the string, and the box goes up. If I release the string, the box comes back down again. Alright, here's a few more versions of the same idea, but before I show you the operation, I want to explain that I've had a lot of requests to have me explain or show exactly what's going on inside. Now I'm doing that, but I'm only going to do it for a short period of time. I will post this video for a month or two, and then I will keep it on my YouTube channel, but it will remain unlisted. Now this is actually the first box I built. It's a wooden frame, and it has paper on both sides. And once again, if I pull on the string, it goes up, and if I release it, it goes down. Now let's take a look at the opposite side. In this box, I have two wheels that act as guides for the strings, and the center part determines the motion of the box. But it's a little bit hard to see here. Now let's replace this one with another one. Now here's a pulley box that we can actually see through. It has one guide on the bottom, which helps direct the string, and when I pull down on the string, it's forcing the wheel to turn in this direction, which on the opposite side, for the string that goes upwards, when the string on the opposite side is unwinding, the string on the smaller wheel is actually winding up, and that's going to apply a force to pull the box upwards. It's actually an example of mechanical advantage gaining force when we apply the force from the wheel, and it's increased at the axle. This box is the easiest to move of them all. First I'll remove the side panels so we can see it a little bit better. Notice how large the wheel is in comparison to the size of the axle. I'll also pull the side off here so we can see that a little bit better. Here's a better view of it. As you can see there's two separate strings, one attached to the wheel, and one's attached to the axle. Now I'll put it back together. There we go. The string applies the effort force on the big wheel, and it's wrapped in this direction. And the string on the axle is wrapped in this direction. Oh. Now if we take a look at this one. There we go. string and it goes up. You can see how this one unravels while it's winding up at the same time on this one. I do have one other example to show here. This one's a bit simpler, but it also satisfied my criteria and that when I pull on the string the box goes up and I release it and it goes down. Now when we take a look inside, we'll see that it's set up somewhat like a pulley. As I pull down, that string shortens, causing the box to be pulled upward. It's simply a washer instead of a wheeled pulley. Well there it is, we removed most of the mystery out of our mystery boxes. Uh, at this point I'd like to thank you for stopping in and come back and see him again. Once again, when I pull down on the string, the box goes up, and when I release it, 